What's up, YouTube? My name is William Dowling, and I am a professional mountain biker. The first thing you might be noticing is that my wall of number plates has actually been taken down. And the reason for that is because we're actually moving next week. So I had to take all those down. So my USA jersey on the... Yeah, I don't clean my room very much. But <laughs> anyway, this weekend we have the American Mountain Bike National Championships. Really looking forward to that. Going to be swag. So we're trying to figure out what time we're gonna leave and Johnny's like, no, I can't set an alarm at 11 a.m. No, no, no. Well, some people go leave leave the house faster and some people go faster on the race course. So. Some people so we some people graduate college faster. <laughs> yeah, you still did it in four and a half years. So we're driving in now. We should get there this evening at like 5.30, something like that. We're stuck behind an RV going super slow, but the fall turkey season's coming up, so I've been practicing my turkey calls. So we're filling up on gas in Leadville, and I just got passed by a couple of my friends who are also going to this race. I'm not gonna say who it was because I'm not a snitch, but they were going at least 100 miles an hour. It was very ignorant. All right, we just made it to Winter Park. I was just riding the course and I got kicked off because I don't have a number plate. And I saw other people getting kicked off too. So Johnny found a random number plate from some random race in his car. Oh, Comment. No, this, isn't, this isn't a random race in my car. This is my car getting worked on yesterday. <laughs> that's not even and a bike it's plate. It's not even a bike plate. <laughs> All right, comment down below if you think that's gonna work. I think he's gonna it's, get DQ'd. It's going to work. I figure I won't get in trouble wearing this jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll change of plans. Johnny actually crashed in the rock garden. I wouldn't know because I didn't ride the course after I got kicked off. But, uh, how's your wrist feeling, Johnny? Um, I think mountain bike season's over. It's the next day and I'm back on the track. I actually got a number plate this time, so hopefully they won't kick me off. All these people are going to think I'm really cool when I ride down this rock garden with the camera in my mouth. We ran into the man himself. How's your wrist feeling, Johnny? <laughs> yeah, well, you do have the best fit in the venue right now, that's for sure. So I'm hanging out in the back of the car and I don't really have anything to do until like seven. So I'm just doing some video editing and yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so I'm out cheering for my old coach, Chad, from, from the college days. He's in the single speed race. Come on, Chad. Oh! Come on, Jesus, you got it, man. So it's the morning of the cross country race and I just woke up to an official warning because I guess someone saw me riding my bike through the village and then they wrote down my number plate and I just got an email <laughs> that said, uh, you can't ride your bike through the village. This is your official warning. It's 3.30, the women just started and I kind of was not paying attention to what time it is. So this is kind of a late pre-race meal, but almost time to start warming up. Swag. From UCI World Tour, Jay Money's Factory Racing, William Dowling. So well. From Heart Cycling, Jeremy Norris. From Out of the UCI World Tour, Jay Money's Factory Racing Squad, Jonathan Anderson. 30 seconds. Fans. 
So I finished in 31st place today. Honestly, going into the race, I wanted to finish in the top 25, so I'm kind of mad at myself for not having that happen, but just looking at the results, everyone who finished ahead of me was just faster than I was, and I think I did about as good as it was really realistic for me to do. Um, one thing I wanted to say was I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who was cheering for me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I actually think I had the best cheering section in the whole race. Every time I would come around the corner and there would be spectators, it would just light up. Yeah, we'll do it for the documentaries. Yeah. And that was cool, man. I really liked that. So it's the next day and I'm about to start warming up for the short track race, checking the results of the under 23 men's race. And Carson Hampton, the friend of the vlog, is currently in fifth and I think they're on their last lap, so good for him. I'm gonna go get warmed up and should be swag. There you go, Will! In the grid. I think there are two, there are two of the people in the It's known that the, at the start line, your speed would almost as the lead. Handling, handling the bike well, we're gonna have to get the, in, the input after the event about how hard. So we're driving home now. I actually just only now got cell phone service. I've kind of just been guessing where to go until now. And I'm back at the apartment. Unfortunately though, Johnny left after I did and he actually locked both of our doors. And I actually don't have a key, so I'm locked outside until he gets back. Nah, I couldn't get in. Why don't you just throw that stupid thing in the dumpster, dude? I wish. So we're back where we started and that was for both me and Johnny, not quite the weekend we were looking for, but it's nice to be back. And now I have to focus on getting moved out of the apartment. I'm headed back uh, in within the next couple days to go visit my parents back in California. Then I'm coming back here to go bear hunting. Then I'm going to go back to California for a little bit. And I'm actually then going to move to Atlanta to start graduate school. So <laughs> that's uh, going to be a big transition. I don't know how much pro mountain biking I'm going to be doing in the foreseeable future. So let me know what you guys want to see with the documentary series. I kind of don't have any ideas. So if you could leave a comment, I would appreciate it. Swag.